So we're going to use it anytime there's uh, you think that someone's hypovolemic or bleeding out secondary to trauma. There's protocols as far as when we use it, so no one under 14, a blood pressure of below 90 with the heart rate of 110, or any blood pressure under 70, again, secondary to trauma. There's also times where we could use um, blood for HSA, GI bleed, uh, secondary to pregnancy, or some other medical emergency that we need that would be, blood would be helpful. And then we'd contact Portable 55, which is our medical director or one of their designees, and they would give us permission to use the whole blood. I see this as a great program. I see it's been um, used for a long time. The efficacy or the medicine is well known, well documented, and well studied as far as its benefits. Now it's just to see if uh, us in the pre-hospital setting or the fire service, first responders can do it. And so I think logistics were an issue of how are you gonna store it? How are you gonna get it to the call? I don't know how feasible it is to have every unit carry it. So that's why they went with uh, the one MSO. We considered we're gonna go on all these calls uh, moving forward. We do have refrigerators on the rig, so if there's a benefit and there's a way to put them on every rig, I can see that. Because as far as I know, it seems to help with outcomes, and I've used it, like I said, quite a few times, and it seems like the outcomes have been favorable in everybody that I've uh, treated with blood.